Hey, it's Andreas. I've been investing for over 10 years. And in today's video, let's take a look at Orion Office REIT. This is a REIT that I'm currently buying, very small cap. We've done some analysis on them in the past. We saw that occupancy rate was just above 80% in this case. And for the latest quarterly earnings here, we see that occupancy is slightly below 80%. So as predicted from the end of year report here of 2023 from management, they seem to be right in terms of that prediction. That's interesting. Keep that in mind for when we look at insider transactions later on in this video. So we're seeing that one in five properties are currently not being leased out. And this stock price has been punished heavily. We've seen that a lot of the REITs have recovered and it's very hard to find a buying opportunity with a nice risk to reward ratio from a young person's perspective wanting higher risk and higher potential reward. In terms of this company here, we see that Orion Office REIT have a decent average remaining lease term of 4.2%, pointing this out as a highlight. And we see that they are focusing in their strategy on government and public services. They're trying to focus more on specialized buildings so not just generic office buildings that provide very little value and in downturns like this we've seen that it's quite difficult to rent those out and it's been quite a churn so now focusing more on specialized services here for example government public service they comment on this earlier that it's a stable sector and then as well healthcare having some sort of medical office financial institutions as well just more specialization in terms of the buildings in terms of the leases they also have a case study here for gsa later down in the report in terms of the diversified geography we can see that they're heavy in texas i took a look at their properties there are two properties in texas that are vacant right now not leased all the other are leased and then they're not as heavy in other states However, for example, here in New York and New Jersey, they have a much larger vacancy. So this is a bit of a weak side in the portfolio in terms of the geographic footprint. And then they have like one, two or three properties in other states and uh, a lot of government in those cases, in those smaller footprints. Here we have the case study where they were able to uh, get GSA on the premise here. Remember from the earlier slide, quite interesting how they did it. It shows good negotiation ability. I think that this is something that we as investors can see of a sign of strength in terms of their deal making ability. So quite happy about that. Some talk on the joint ventures and then we come to the last part that I want to highlight before we go into insider transactions. We can see the balance sheet strategy here. It's very conservative. They don't have a lot of leverage compared to some other REITs. And we also see that the debt maturity here is quite, yeah, they have very secure here. A lot of debt is coming into maturity in 2027 and say a lot of debt because it's as a percentage of total assets, remember? And this is a small cap company. This is a very small company. But it seems to be safe for now. We looked at the cash flows as well in the earlier video, and we see that it's quite solid there as well. So we will not comment on this now. But solid strategy this also means that if the market turns and we see more return to office well then they have the potential to do more development buy up more properties from other distressed office REITs so this could be very beneficial going forward however as I said the market hates this stock and I don't think that management was prepared for just how much if we look at insider transactions here we can see that the COO here they Christopher Haviland bought 11,000 shares at the average price here purchase price 557 a share this was in May the 12th 2023 
The same person here made another purchase October 16th, 2023 between the price range of 495 to 674 a share. And as you can see here on the left side of my screen, the stock is now trading at 3.78 as I'm making this video. So clearly management did not think that the market would continue to hate so much on this stock and continue to trade it lower. But it did and understandably so with the whole remote work, hybrid work. And that's why we're seeing valuations of the price to book value being just insanely low. It's just as low as MPW was when the market hated it and a lot of short sellers piled in. So extremely attractive valuation in my opinion. And that's why I'm taking a bet on this stock and building a portfolio, you know, building a position in it, in my portfolio. And I will purchase a few thousand shares of this stock and build another stream of dividend. Will that be right? Well, it's high risk, only time will tell, but it's definitely an in interesting play with management here, purchasing shares, the stock continuing to go lower. And now, as we saw with occupancy, about one in five of the properties not being rented out, but with longer leases now coming up. So this was already flagged year end 2023 that occupancy would continue to decline. And I think that perhaps now the worst is behind Orion office REIT. And it could be a very interesting play to start building a position, start collecting some nice dividend. The yield is yield is above 10 percent in this case i looked at the cash flow statement they are doing buybacks of stock they are repaying debt they are paying out dividend and cash flow from operations is covering still very risky bet very small company just the size the small size increases the risk in this case so it's going to be a interesting play to follow along on all right, that's been it for this video. And as always, hope you guys make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye-bye.